We are enjoying a comfortable run of weather as we head into the fall after a long, miserable summer. Overall, the valley is seeing more extreme weather days and with that, more heat-related illness and death. All new at 6, morning anchor Angela Chen digs into the local weather records to see just how hot the valley is getting and why heat-related deaths may be undercounted. Under the blistering sun, on a 117 degree day, it can feel like your skin is burning, peeling as you toil without shade. It's why farm workers in the East Coachella Valley wear long sleeves. Drenched in sweat, they can never seem to replenish fast enough. It's starting the, the lips, I don't, don't speak good. Slurred speech, sweaty chills, seizures, the symptoms of heat stroke, the most serious of heat related illness. Vidal has been a farm worker here for the past 20 years. Some people uh, almost die. I see my body is my body's chain, you know. Every day is more tired in my body. The money is not great, but it is year long work, which makes the searing temperatures worth the risk. With climate change bringing more frequent and intense heat waves, heat related deaths in Riverside County reached a 10 year high in 2021. It follows the soaring number of heat waves from that year. Our analysis of weather records shows more than half of July 2021 broiled in temperatures 110 degrees or higher. June saw an all time high of 123 degrees, nearly 14 degrees above the seasonal average. The fiery heat of the Coachella Valley is not for the faint of heart. At 110 degrees, the temperature of the asphalt can reach a whopping 160 degrees. It has melted my shoes in the past, and just five minutes barefoot on this can lead to second degree burns. And as dangerous as the heat is, certain groups are at higher risk. Men are more likely to die of heat related illness. Men tend to be more in the outdoor occupations that exposes them to high heat or the warehouse occupations where those facilities may not have air conditioning. And of all the races, the black community is the most vulnerable. The black community could experience a higher incidence of heat related illness and death due to many factors uh, such as access to health care, substandard housing, the root cause of lack of opportunity or access is structural racism in that historically um, policies or systems were set up that unfairly advantaged the black community. 110 degree days can bring fatal risks for poorer communities who don't always have access to air conditioning, especially those in mobile homes. The elderly on a fixed income often feel forced to leave their air conditioners off because they can't afford high electricity bills. Sometimes it means death. They're thrifty. They're trying to save on their electric bill. They won't turn up their air conditioner no matter how hot it gets, and, and they succumb to the heat. California's growing heat wave problem is now a public health crisis, and heat-related deaths are often believed to be undercounted. And that's because counties differ in how they count them. Riverside County is really particular about uh, keeping an eye on heat-related deaths because more than two-thirds of our county is the desert. If heat played a role in the death, whether it's a primary cause or a contributing factor, Riverside County will count it. But Townsend says that's above and beyond what is required by national standards. Other counties may only record the primary cause of death, meaning heat-related deaths could get left out of the count. It is a California data problem that could soft pedal how big our heat crisis really is. Heat related weather events are a top cause of human uh, suffering and, and illness and death. Oftentimes people don't take a uh, high heat warning seriously because it's something invisible. Which is why some health officials want governments to name heat waves like they do hurricanes. The Coachella Valley is getting hotter with the desert trending upward and seeing more 110 degree or higher days. So far this year, we have seen 15 deaths with 14 more pending from the Labor Day heat wave. The brutality of summer here is often underestimated, but for Vidal, the risk of death hovers. Be careful for your life. Waiting under the unforgiving sun. In Coachella, Angela Chen, News Channel 3.